It's common practice when producing construction documentations to use legends to help explain the components used in your design. So a typical example might be window types here, so type A, type B. You might have a little picture or an elevation of the component, the, the elevation of the window in this case. You might have a legend for floor types, wall types, roof types, etc and that legend could appear on the side of your drawing or with door and window schedules the legend can appear next to the schedule or in the schedule in revit we have a specific view type called a legend view and we can add legend components to it to produce this effect and in this unit i'm going to show you exactly how that works To demonstrate how this works, I'm going to create two different legend views, one for door types and another one for wall types. So first of all, we need to create a blank legend view on which to put the legend components. So you can see down here in the project browser, the legends group, there's nothing in there at the moment. So if you go to the view menu and on the create panel, we have an icon there for legends little drop down now it's a legend we want to create don't worry about keynote legends at this point so a new legend view give it a name so this one's going to be the door types choose a scale I'll leave that at 1 to 50 for now you can change it later if we need to hit OK and in the legends group in the browser if I just expand that you can see we have a door type legend completely blank at the moment then the second step is to add legend components to this now it's important to follow where we actually find these components so if you go to the annotate menu and you want the detail panel and in there you've got component and you hit the little drop down it's actually a legend component those are the only types of component the legend component that can go on to a legend view so I'm going to go ahead and select legend component now the important thing to note now is the options bar now this is the key to how this works we have a drop down here for family this list here is a list of all the components in your current project that can be placed onto a legend view they are not necessarily the components used in your model. They are the ones that exist in the database in this project. So in theory, you could start a new project and depending on what's in the template, you can go and create your legend view of all your different door types or wall types in readiness for you to start to develop your model. So remember, these aren't just things that are in your model that you've built. They are elements that are contained within the current project so we're going to look for door types so i'll go up to the top of the list here are our doors so let's put a few on our legend start there now also on the options bar you have the choice to place that component as a floor plan view or an elevation from the front or back now the options available to you here from this drop down will depend on what type of component you're placing here so if you're placing a piece of wall you won't have elevation front or back you'll have something different we'll see that in a short while so i'm going to choose elevation front i'm going to place that there i'm going to go and now pick a different one and so forth so we would add all the doors or door types that are going to appear in our project I want a duct, I want to go back to a door, let's place one more, elevation front, there. Now these are actual size so we can dimension them, uh, sometimes it's a good idea to just put overall key dimensions, particularly things like doors and windows, so we might want to do that, we might want to dimension them up, we might want to add bits of text to say what type it is door type 1 we'll be covering annotation and detailing in much more detail later on in the course but for now just to show you that you would obviously embellish this legend with annotations 
maybe some leaders here, um, maybe some text notes, something about its finishes. Probably you would keep it quite minimal, um, particularly with doors here, maybe just a, a, a graphic of the door, overall dimensions and what type it is. All the other pertinent information about the door would be in the door schedule, but that's up to you as to what information you include in the legend. Okay, so I'll leave that legend for now. I won't add any more detail. Uh, it's just to show you the principle. But what we will do is go ahead and create a wall type legend. So remember, view, legends there, legend, give it a name. So now this one's gonna be wall types. Hit okay. Wall types gets added into the legends group. So what we need to do now is add our wall legend components. So remember we find our legend components by going to the annotate menu, the detail panel, component, little drop down, make sure it is a legend component that we're selecting. Remember to look on the options bar, that's where we can choose exactly what legend component we add. So this time we're going to add walls so different wall types select there and now you'll recall i said you've got different options depending on the types of components and so now we can select either floor plan or section for our wall types section works fairly well so let's add that in there now i'm just going to bump the detail level up to fine so we can actually see the layers in our our wall types let's go and put a few different ones in here So again, you would detail this up now with a bit of text, type A, type B. You may want um, a list of the, uh, the build up of the layers in the wall type, the insulation type, etc., or maybe an MBS clause to, uh, to find the detail. But at least then when this legend is on uh, a sheet next to a section, it tells the person reading the, the drawing what type of wall they're actually looking at. So again, I won't go through and, and finish detail on this, but you would add your text, you can dimension this up and say you can add uh, leaders with descriptions of the various layers in the walls. So once you've created your legend views, all there is left to do is to place them onto sheets. So you may recall from an earlier unit that most of the view types in Revit can only be placed on one sheet. If you then try and place the same view onto another sheet, you get a warning box to say that it's already been allocated. Now legend views can be duplicated onto as many sheets as you need. So for example, let's go to sheet A101. We might want wall types on here. So single click to highlight the wall types legend, click and hold left mouse button, drag it on, and let's put, whether you want that sort of on the main body of the sheet or in the notes section, our legend for our wall types. Let's go to A102, and we could do the same here, put that wherever we want. So we can keep allocating or placing the same view on as many different sheets as we need. Say so most view types in Revit, i.e. floor plans, ceiling plans, elevation sections, etc. When you've allocated or placed a specific view onto a sheet, you can't then place that same view onto another sheet. You have to duplicate it using one of the duplication methods we looked at in a previous unit. And that completes this unit. To get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point, you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. 
If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.